Hi, this is Scott Kravitz from Kravitz Incorporated. I'm going to take you through the process of loading, installing, and downloading the code from uh, Twix, Twixcell.com and how you can be an alpha tester and what you need to do. The first step you need to do is to go to Twixcell.com and we're here now and I want you to go to the download page by clicking here and there's going to be a list of four steps that I want you to do. So the first step is to create a directory where you, where you will save the download file and here it says uh, see Twixcell and that's recommended. You can store it really wherever you want but we prefer a C to Excel. So we're going to create that directory. And I'm clicking the start button and run. And then I'm typing in C colon. And from here, I can right click, go to new, and folder, and create and uh, enter Twixcell. And there we have a Twixcell directory now. I minimize this window. The second step is to download and save the file to this directory. So let's click on the download link. And one of the things you're going to see, it's going to say from stockg.com. That's where we host our website, so that's fine. And you're going to click the Save button, not the Open. So we're going to click Save. And we're going to select. that directory we just created. Okay. And the name of the file is going to be Twixcell get followers dot eighty three E zip. You may see a different version, I'm sure, pretty soon as uh, we will keep updating this. So it may be a different letter here. I'm going to press save. and the file's been downloaded. I'm going to open the folder and here we have the zip file. So now the next step is to unzip and we want to store it in this Twixcell directory. Now again I'm using Vista so you may see it may look a little different to you through XP a different operating system. I'm double clicking the link and we see the two files. I'm going to select the two files and I'm going to right click and do a copy I'm going to go back to the Twixcell directory up here and I'm going to right click and do a paste. And now we have the zip file and the two files that are needed to run Twixcell. The XLS file, which is where the Twixcell code is, and there's a database that comes with the system that collects statistics and will be used for a lot of future cool things. Uh, once this is done, I want you to so we've done this step and if you don't have a zip program or you're having problems you can go to this link which is a open source program called 7-zip which you can use. I use the one that came with Vista and the next thing is run file or open Excel. Um, I would say probably the next step which isn't done here should be to shut down all your Excel programs. Um, I'm going to start up a new brand new copy of Excel. That's the other way you can do this but I'd recommend shutting down Excel. So now we're going to open that file, and here it is here. I'm double clicking it, and the first thing we're seeing, you may not see this, is um, you may see something a little differently in different versions, but it's basically telling me that macros aren't enabled. And I'm getting the security warning, and the way to enable it is to go to the options and click on enable. You may see it in other views, but you should, for our code, you have to enable it to work. And what that means is we've written some code in Excel called VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, which is also known as macros, and for the code to work you have to enable this. So I'm pressing OK. And after you do that, you'll come to our follower, follower management sheet. There's going to be a number of sheets that are going to pop up, but in any case, some of, the, some of the things to show you on here is there's going to be some statistics we can get from right here by pressing this Refresh Stats button. And um, there's a little warning here that if you if the buttons aren't working, then you might be in edit mode. And what edit mode means is if I type in here, actually hides the button, but I can't click a button while 
I'm just trying pressing the click and nothing's happening. So you can always press escape on a sheet to get out of edit mode. Um, the other thing is that you didn't enable macros and these wouldn't work. So really, so once, you, once you've done this, the system's all set up to run with two hard-coded user IDs, Twixcel 8 and 9. There may be different ones that you have by the time you, you see this. And if you contact us, we will create and send us two, two new Twitter IDs. We will create a version for you that will get followers to those two IDs. That's how we're doing it right now. We don't want you to use an existing ID you have because there might be some issues with the software. We don't want it to affect your ID. So for now, we want you to use a brand new ID. So I'm going to press the Get Followers. And it comes to a login page, which will go away in a second. And these are basically the two IDs that we're going to be using. With your version, your two IDs would appear there. And then a status screen will come up, and it starts to do a collecting. Now, I've already gotten some followers in here, and I've run this for a while. And it's going to just go through the regular process and shows us there's 102. Well, first of all, this is user ID Twixcell 8. After it finishes with 8, it's going to go through 9, and then, then it'll take a little 10-minute break. So right now it's doing a number of things. Um, on this side are messages that are the main steps, and this has kind of the detail messages. And you can see we have following 122 people. We have 24 followers already. I've done three updates, and our following to follower ratio is 500%. And this is going to become important in the future. And you see, we're now we're getting some more people. We've we are we have we followed one, and we have two left to follow. And there's some other statistics that are here. It's telling us that we skipped 57 people, and it actually finished that user, and now it's going to Twixcell09. And this is because we're at a we're at a, a place right now where we have so many follow following and not not that many followers that we want to try to keep them not too far apart. We could have actually just gone and kept following people, but we, what we found is that people don't like to follow people who have a lot of who are following a lot of people and very few followers, and even this gap may be too high. And you can see I have one update here. And again, right now, so it went through a process. It's telling us now next check in 9 minutes and 50 s 54 seconds. And in that time, it'll start up again and go back to Twixcell08. So that's really it. That's all you have to do. And that's how you'll get your followers. Uh, when you uh, contact us, we will send, send you, go to our contact page and send us an email and we will send you uh, a version. You have to send us the two user IDs you want us to place in the code and this will just continue getting followers and to get out of here we can press the stop button and I say yes when I to cancel and that's basically it some of the other things you can do here is uh, I was talking about the refresh stats before if I press this it'll go out to the system and give me statistics for these two users and this, uh, and you see, this is just the the statistics. And if I wait a little bit and do it again, it'll actually give us an estimate of I want my goal is ten thousand, and it will place a date here of of when it estimates you'll reach that goal for these two users. Some of the other buttons here are the don't unfollow button, which if I press this, we come to a screen where. I, all I need to do is enter a username here and press the Get User ID button. And once we do that, it'll fill the the uh, user ID out here. And um, let me just do one for a user I happen to like called Alec Berg. I'm going to have to press, again, I'm in edit mode, so I have to press Tab. And I press the Get User IDs. It's now going out to Twitter, twi Twitter and getting the user ID, which it did. And now once that's here, it won't unfollow because there's some processing in here that unfollows people that don't follow us back and this will prevent that from happening for certain user ideas that you like and we're going to go always go back to the follower management tab so that's basically it for now hopefully you'll get lots of followers you'll make lots of money on Twitter and um, keep in contact with us you can con tweet us at Alec Berg And also you can send us an email, there's a link here, or you can go to the webpage for a contact.